a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about quantum computing and quantum stocks and a quantum computing ETF. All these have been on fire lately because investors are speculating on the next big thing in technology after artificial intelligence. So this frenzy intensified since Google revealed its new computer chip. The chip is called Willow. And this is Google's blog. I recommend uh, reading the blog. This chip can perform calculations in less than five minutes that would take one of the fastest supercomputers in the world 10 septillion years. That's 10 to the power of 25, 25 zeros. So that vastly exceeds the age of the universe or we can say near eternity. So quantum computers can basically solve problems that are considered impossible currently and they have the potential to change the world. Now quantum computing concept is nothing new. Scientists have been exploring and working on it for over 40 years and despite some major developments there are also significant technical hurdles that have slowed progress in a race to develop practical viable quantum computers. But some of the recent advancements, including the Velo announcements, uh, announcement, that they suggest that commercially viable commercial computers may be closer to reality, maybe in years, not decades. So they may be closer than many people think. Now, some of the biggest companies in the world, including Google, Microsoft, IBM, NVIDIA also, they are actively working to either develop quantum computers or uh, uh, in other areas of quantum computing technology. And then there are many small pay, play, sorry, small pure play quantum computing companies that have surged Lately, these include Rigetti Computing, D-Wave Quantum, and INQ. These companies had gone public via SPAC mergers in 2022. These shares have been quite volatile since then, but lately, over the past month of or so, they have surged a lot. So it's too early to predict winners in this space, whether these deep-pocketed tech giants that, that have been investing billions in qual quantum computing, they will emerge as winners, or these smaller, more agile, more nimble, smaller companies, or maybe there they will be multiple winners, but still very early. And why these quantum computing, they have transformative applications because these machines could potential potentially solve multiple global challenges they could solve climate crisis global food shortages they could help in developing revolutionary drugs even making much better trade on stocks but on the darker side these computers could also break encryptions on computers, which is vital to securities. So even governments have been looking at quantum computing. According to McKinsey, quantum computing alone, which is one of the main areas, three one of the three main areas of quantum technology, quantum computing could account for nearly 1.3 trillion in value by 2035. Now let's take a look at what exactly is quantum computing. So traditional computers that we use now, laptop, desktops, even our smartphones, they use binary digits or bits. And binary digits are either 
zero or one. Quantum computers, on the other hand, they use qubits or quantum bits, and qubits rely on quantum effects like superposition. And in su superposition, qubits can exist in multiple state simultaneously. And entanglement, where particles, these particles in a quantum state, they can remain interconnected and interact with one another even when they're physically separated. So quite spooky. But these properties allow quantum computer quantum computers to process exponentially more information than classical computers. The problem is that qubits, they are very fragile. They can hold their quantum states only for tri tiny fractions of a second, which means the information that they store is quickly lost. So that those are the challenges that these companies have been working on. And uh, But quantum computing is going to be very expensive and this is not going to be a replacement for classical computing, but rather a complementary technology that is going to revolutionize certain computational tasks. Now, let's, let's take a look at the quantum computing ETF. So it's called the Defiance Quantum ETF. Q is the tech because there are so many companies working on quantum, there are not too many companies working on quantum computing alone. So this ETF actually holds companies that are inv involved in machine learning, quantum computing, cloud computing, and other transformative computing technologies. Currently holds 71 globally listed stocks and follows a modified equal weighting scheme currently has about 447 million in assets and basically these assets have almost doubled in the past few weeks very reasonably priced at 40 basis points so i mentioned it is difficult to predict winners so maybe a diversified approach could work better for investors so let's take a look at this etf you can go to the code page on zax.com. You can read our research report articles and using the link, you can go to Define's web page for this ETF. Learn more about this ETF. So I mentioned that it holds other computing technologies stocks too. So looking at the subsector breakdown from the fact sheet as of September 9th, I see that quantum computing accounted for about 42% and machine learning services, 20% AI and application chips, about 15%. And uh, one of the advantages of using an ETF is that you can get exposure to stocks listed in Japan, Netherlands, Taiwan, because so many global companies are also working on this technology. And again, it is difficult to predict winners. Looking at the holdings as expected, these small quantum computing companies that have gone parabolic in the past few weeks, RGTI, Rigeti, QBTS, D-Wave Quantum, and INQ, IonQ. These are the top holdings currently, but these will all be brought to equal weights at the time of rebalancing. In addition to these stocks, you will see other stocks that I mentioned. You will find Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA, all other stocks also in this ETF. Now here on the next slide, I have the comparative performance. So these stocks of small pure play companies have gone parabolic, riggedy, is, has surged more than 600% over the past 12 months, but all that action happened in the past month or so. Uh, D-Wave Quantum is up more than 400%. INQ is up about 130%. The Quantum ETF Qtum is up about 70%. 
the S&P 500 index, sorry, uh, QTM is up about 50% and the S&P 500 index is up about 35% over the past year. Now, I also took a look at the longer term performance of these stocks and the QTM ETF. So as I mentioned, these stocks, the three stocks that we are talking about, they went public via SPAC mergers in 2022. And Q had surged then. So I used the data since prices were publicly available for these stocks. So you see that there's been so much of volatility in these stocks. And Q is the only stock which is in the green and it has significantly outperformed the QTM ETF and the S&P 500 index. Over this period, the QTM ETF is up about 70%, outperforming the S&P 500 index's gain of about 50%. The other two stocks are still in the red. They have a lot of losses because these stocks had a terrible performance in 2023 and early 2024. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube video channel so that you do not miss anything. And I'll see you next week.